Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Hello, everyone. Today we are going to do the watercolor. So before the class, here has something you have to check out. So about the paper, all right. So make sure you are using the watercolor paper. Normally, they will write the watercolor on the cover of the book. Okay, even you have the different blends, it's okay. So you will see the watercolor on the cover. All right. So they are the watercolor papers. So you are not going to use the sketch pad, even the printing paper. They are not the right media for the watercolor. All right. So first of all, you have to check the paper. All right, and you have to use the hand to touch the paper, front and the back. So the front is a little bit textures, rough. So you will see the texture is a little bit rough on the front, and the back will be very very smooth. Nothing on it. So don't use the wrong side of the watercolor paper. All right. So that is about the paper. Then, if you want to outline your watercolors with the markers, you have to check your marker is waterproof. So how can you check it? So first of all, you have to see there's a permanent markers. So which means this is the waterproof markers. All right. So you will see this one as well. You see the permanent. You also can see the perimeter on this one as well. Let me find it. It's right here, perimeter. Okay. But if you find the marker looks like this, nothing on it, just the brand, the Crayola, the name of the company, and you don't see the perimeter, which means this is the regular marker. So don't use this one. This is the wrong. We use the waterproof marker to trace if you want to. All right. So the paper is right. The marker is ready. Now we can begin the class. All right. So grab your paper, pencils, and eraser. We are going to do the ice cream. Okay. So we are going to learn how to do the ice cream and the sundae on one bowl. All right. So let's see. We need to have a dish at the bottom, right? But we are not going to make the dish too high. Because the top area we are going to do is for the ice cream. If you have the dish too big, you are not able to do the ice cream on top, right? You have not much space. So I will say about three fingers. All right, about three fingers, and give yourself a mark. Three fingers, and give yourself a mark. So we are adding the lines, cross over. Remember, left, right, the left area are the same. Left or uh, right, left looks similar. And double is double line. And try to keep the size looks like the same. Okay, don't change the height, don't change the width. About, but you don't need to use the ruler. But I can tell here it looks different, right? Here's more thick, and this small area looks so thin. So I'm gonna remove it until I get it right. Okay, then close, close, and add in the dish. One, two, close at the bottom. Okay, I didn't make the right looks good, so I'm going to fix it. All right, perfect. All right. So today's topic is the dish. No, it's the ice cream. So we are going to do three of them, and you are going to add in the topping by yourself. Okay. I know ice cream is ice cream bowl. It looks like the circle, like the sphere, right? But half of them is inside the dish. Okay. So you only see the top. So we are going to add it a later end on the top first. All right. So I'm going to start from here. See, it's outside the dish, not in the dish. Everyone, it's outside the dish, and I'm going to have a big curve. 
Not cross over, but touch the dish over the middle. See the dish, the middle of the dish is right here on my pencil area. And I over it, it's right here. Okay, then I'm going to do the other one is behind. So from here, not the dish, from the top, okay, from here, doing a curve. And you have to make sure it's going out of the dish, just like the left one. All right? And while we are doing that, why? Because it's dripping, it's melting a little bit. It's melting. It's coming out a little bit. Okay? So that's the how I'm doing it. I'm going to from here, up, down, up, down, small, big, small or big, and stop. And some is here. Wave. Okay? So I'm doing the same thing on the left and the right. So some big, some small. It looks like they are cream and they are melt. Okay? Then we are going to do the sundae. So you will see it looks like the sausage. One layer. Two layers. And you will see what? One side is bigger than the other side. Okay? And you can have more layer if you want to. So I'm going to stop right here. Okay, so we finished the basic. I'm going to give you some time to check the shape. Then you are going to add in the topic by yourself, which means everyone is going to have a different topic. Okay, you can add in a lot of fresh fruit like blueberry, strawberry, kiwi, pineapple, or anything that you like okay even you can have some cracker like uh, oreo cookies okay or even you can have some gummy bear the salt ones or anything you want sprinkle okay so now it's the time for you to add in the background and you even can design your dishes okay so now you can begin Let's take your time to complete your drawing. Don't be rushed. You might need to think about it, imagine it, and create it, and draw them down. Okay, so you might need to think about it. How can you complete your drawing and how can you make your drawing looks even better? So think about it before you start to add anything on it, okay? So think and imagine and create it. Remember, don't be rushed, take your time. Don't forget, good art always takes time.
Remember, don't be rushed. Take your time. Let's see any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. If you need more time to complete your awesome work, alright. So after you finish the ice cream sundaes and the decoration and the topping, so now it's for us to outline our joints. Okay. So make sure your marker has the perimeter markers. Okay. It has to be waterproof, not any regular markers. Alright. So we are not going to trace. All the joints with one single markers. We have to show the light weights. Okay, so we are going to use the thick markers to trace the main parts. So I'm going to trace the dish and the bottom. Don't forget. But I'm not going to trace the decoration on my dish. I'm going to use. Thin marker to do so, and the big ice cream. I'm going to add in some shape. Looks like this, but I'm not going to trace the melting parts and the sprinkle. They are too small. Okay, I only trace the big parts of the ice cream right here, and I also trace the sundae. I know orange is something big, but the orange is something like the decoration. So I'm not going to use the fine marker. So I'm I'm done with the fine marker and place that on the side. And you're going to use the thin markers to trace the rest of them, the melting part, decoration, and the topping. All right. But if you don't have the thin markers, you can use the pencil crayons to help you. Okay, they work like the same. Now you can begin to trace the main parts. With the fine markers, and use the thin markers to trace the decorations and the topping.
when you're done with the outlining, when you finish the tracing, don't forget to use your eraser to remove all the extra pencil lines. Okay, and after we finish, we were going to have our three minutes water break, but that is the end of the class. Okay, so during these three minutes, you can go to the washroom, drinking some water, and you can do some exercise to move your body. If you haven't had the chance to finish your work, use the three minutes to complete your work so you can catch up before we start to color. Okay? So after three minutes, we are going to do the watercolors all together. So please come in back and make sure you have your watercolor set ready for the next session. Welcome back everyone. So let's see what tool you gonna need for this section. So we are doing the watercolor. You need the water. Okay. It has to be cool, clean water. Don't use the water that is with the temperatures. So no warm water, no hot water. They will damage your watercolor brush. Okay. Always the cool water. Okay, then we need to have a towel for drying our brushes. If you don't have the towel that is for your watercolors, don't go to the kitchen to grab the towel. Okay, don't do that. If you don't have the wand for you to do the arts, you can grab a piece of the napkin and you can reuse it until the color is fully covered on your napkin. Alright, 
So if you don't have the towel for your artwork, the napkin is work. Okay, but don't go to the washroom to grab the toilet paper because the toilet paper was stuck on your watercolor brush. All right, then. Of course, we need to have our watercolor brush. So you have to see the watercolor brush is very, very soft, right? It's nothing looks like the grass. If you have the one looks like the dry grass, don't use that. That is for oil painting. Okay. So try to find the one that looks very soft, like this, and bouncy. Okay. So put that on the side, and you need to have the watercolor paint. Okay, sometimes it comes with a tray like this. You got many color on top, or sometimes you will have something looks like a tube. Okay, so both of them are the same. And the most important thing, you need to find a tray or the dish plate because we are going to mix and blend in the color on top. Okay, so that's it. Do you have all the thing on the screen right now? Okay. Water, towel or napkin, watercolor brushes, big, medium, and small. Watercolor pens with the colors and the watercolor trayer so you can mix the color on. All right. So when you got all the watercolors tool ready, and the most important thing is your paper. So don't forget to get your pencil outline and with the tracing and everything looks good. All right. So we are going to learning two things. First is the color volume that we learned before. Then we are going to learn the color blending. All right. So that's C. We are going to do the color volume for the someday. So I'm going to choose the color. Okay. So I'm gonna use the purple. So you can use any color. It doesn't really matter as long as it looks good. That's good enough. Okay. So make sure your watercolor looks watery. You have to mix the color with the water. So the texture should feel very juicy, not sticky. All right. So make sure it doesn't look like the ketchup, yogurt, or the smoothie. It must look like the water with the colors. Okay. So first of all, you are going to color the bottom parts looks like this, and keep the top white. Then wash your brush. Remove the extra water. So you got a wet, dry brush. So I'm gonna pile it on top. See, so I bring the color on top. Then you're going to got the color volume. The bottom part has more rich color, and the top, you got the brightest colors. So that is the color volume. So let's do it one more time. But this I have to be very careful because I have lots of detail. I got the top in right there. I'm gonna smooth, uh, remove them. Just skip them. Okay, same thing. I'm going to color the half of them first. Then wash my brush. Release the extra water. Then bring the color out. Bring the color up to here. So you got the color volume. Dark, medium, light. The bottom part looks more rich, more dark, and the top will be dark, uh, brighter. All right. So let's do this all together one more time. Color the bottom part. Wash the brush. Release the extra water. Bring the color up. The color volume. Very simple and easy. You can use the pink color, red color, blue color, up to you. Any color you want. All right. So that's the first one, the color volume. And the second one is the color blending. You need to have two colors. Okay. So this one I'm gonna use the orange to teach you. So, 
Okay, so let me get my first color. I want to prepare the yellow. Same thing, it has to be watery. All right. Now, I want to color my yellow on the top, but not half of them, just a little bit right here. Then I add in what? I add in a little bit red. See, I add in a little bit red, mixed with the yellow. You got a little bit orange. And I add in, see, I apply the orange next to the yellow. And adding even more red. Now it changed, becomes orange. So that is the color blended. You use two color to create a multiple color on one area. All right, so I'm going to show you another sample on the left. So this time I'm going to use the green to the blue. Okay, so see the green colors? Watery, I have to mix the color and the water properly. Okay, so same thing, I have to be very careful because I have some topping on the top. Okay, I don't want the topping looks green, so I'm gonna to circle them. All right. So remember, I said I used the green to the blue, right? So I'm gonna apply the blue right here. So that's the blue color I'm using. I mix the blue a little bit into the green colors. Then I color the green color next to the one I just did. See the green color? I got two different green colors already. Then adding even more. Then I got my third green colors. So I'm going to color the rest of the area. So I got three colors right there. Okay. So now you can begin to color your ice cream. You can use the color volume. Use one single color to color the rest of the, the area. And you also can use the color blending. So you have to pick two colors. So this one I use the yellow to the orange. I use the green adding the blue to the dark blue. Okay, so the color volume is using one single color. Color blending is using two different colors. Okay, so now you can begin. All right, so when you finish your ice cream and you can start to color your background and the topping, but make sure your ice cream is dry. So I'm not going to color the topping on the green one because you see, the green one's still shiny, which means it's not dry yet. So I can color the lemons, cookies, blueberry on here because my sundae and the orange ice cream is totally dry so I can do that. So you have to wait. The base colors are totally dry so you can color your topping and your decoration. Okay? So you have to be very very patient when you doing the watercolors. Never get rushed. Okay? Good arts always take time.
has to use the small brush to color somewhere small. Okay? You are not going to use the same brush to color everywhere on your joint. So big area, big brush, small area, small brush. Okay? So don't just use one single brush to color everywhere. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so when you finish the coloring, you have to double check do you miss any small area that you forgot to color? The C or the toppings or the sprinkle or the decoration on the dish. Okay, you have to check every single part that you also cover it. Then you can find a space to sign the names and write down the dates. All right, hopefully you enjoy the class today and I will going to see you guys soon. When you complete your join, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后,签下你的名字跟写上日期. Don't forget to take a photo of your join and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片寄给我们哦! And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦! Bye bye, see you next time!